Hey there, memory masters. Welcome to our journey into the wonderful world of memory. Have you ever wondered how your brain manages to remember all those important things, like your best friend's birthday or where you left your keys? Well, today, we're going to dive deep into the fascinating workings of human memory and discover some amazing techniques to boost your brain power. So how does memory work anyway? Think of your brain like a supercomputer with different compartments for storing information. We have short-term memory where we hold on to things for a short time, like a phone number we're about to dial. And then there's long-term memory where we store memories for days, months, or even years. But here's the thing. Our brains don't always remember everything perfectly. Sometimes information gets lost or mixed up along the way. So how can we improve our memory? Let's talk about some awesome memory boosting techniques that anyone can use. One, pay attention. First up, pay attention. Your brain is like a sponge. It soaks up information, but only if you're paying attention. So when you're trying to remember something, focus on it, minimize distractions and really engage with the material. Two, use mnemonics. Next, let's talk about mnemonics. Mnemonics are like memory shortcuts that help us remember information more easily. For example, remember the order of the planets in our solar system with the phrase, my very educated mother just served us noodles. Each word corresponds to a planet, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. Pretty cool, right? 3. Visualize and associate. Another powerful technique is visualization. Our brains love images, so try to visualize the information you're trying to remember. You can also associate new information with the something you already know. For example, if you're learning someone's name, associate it with a familiar object or person. It's like creating a mental web of connections. 4. Practice retrieval. One effective way to strengthen your memory is through retrieval practice. That's just a fancy term for testing yourself. So let's say you're trying to remember a list of words. Write them down, cover them up, and try to recall them from memory. It's like giving your brain a little workout. 5. Encoding. This is the process of converting information into a form that can be stored in the brain. Think of it like typing something into a computer. You have to input the information before it can be saved. Paying attention, using mnemonic devices, and creating associations are all ways to enhance encoding. 6. Storage. Once information is encoded, it's stored in different areas of the brain. Short-term memories are stored in regions like the prefrontal cortex, while long-term memories are distributed throughout the brain. Interestingly, memories aren't stored like files in a cabinet. Instead, they're reconstructed each time we recall them, which can sometimes lead to errors or distortions. 7. Chunking. Chunking involves breaking down information into smaller, more manageable chunks. For example, instead of trying to remember a long string of numbers, you could group them into smaller sets. This technique is why phone numbers are often broken into sections, making them easier to remember. 8. Method of Lochi. Dating back to ancient Greece, the method of Lochi involves associating information with specific locations in a familiar place, like your home. As you mentally walk through each location, you can recall the information associated with it. It's like creating a mental map of memories. 9. Spaced repetition. This technique involves spacing out study sessions over time, rather than cramming all at once. By reviewing information at intervals, your brain strengthens connections and solidifies memories more effectively. It's like watering a plant regularly to help it grow. 10. Retrieval. This is the process of accessing stored information when needed. Retrieval cues, like smells, sights or sounds, can trigger memories and make them easier to recall. 
That's why a familiar smell might suddenly bring back memories of a childhood vacation. 11. Stay active and healthy. Finally, don't forget to take care of your brain, get plenty of sleep, exercise regularly and eat a healthy diet. A happy, healthy brain is a better memory. Remember, everyone's brain is unique, so it's essential to find the techniques that work best for you. Whether it's through visualization, association, or good old-fashioned practice, you can train your brain to be a memory powerhouse. So there you have it, our brains are incredible memory machines. And with a little practice and some clever techniques, we can unlock their full potential. Thanks for joining me on this memory-boosting adventure. Remember, keep practicing. Stay curious and keep those memories sharp. Until next time, happy remembering.